Friday, guys. All right? Got a lot of fun things going on. Uh, got a package coming in in the next couple days. We ordered from Amazon that should kind of make uh, the demo easier, so the movements will be easier to understand. We'll have fewer outside links. Um, we'll kind of be able to share all of the uh, different variations kind of in one video, um, or at least for each movement, we'll have one video. So that'll be super cool, um, way easier to do. When that comes in, we'll kind of do an un uh, unboxing, as they call it, when they do reviews of things. It'll be very exciting. Um, Mainly because what else do we have to do right now? Because we're all at home, right? Hanging out. Um, but we do have some workouts to do. So there's a lot of stuff tomorrow, being Friday. Um, there's also a lot of variations on things. So we'll kind of get started on that um, super quick, right? So first things first, first workout is Higgins, right? It's a 12 minute circuit, it's for quality not for quantity, it's not an AMRAP, right? We wanna make these look good. Now, while I don't want you to do one round in 12 minutes, I would still rather you do one really, really well done, really good round, right? Than do 12 mediocre rounds. So we'll try to get a couple, two, three, four rounds in, whatever it is, but I want each movement to be very, very good, right? That's kind of our takeaway from this. So it's a, it's a single leg circuit, right? We do a lot of stuff in life. In fact, the majority of stuff in life is done with differing demands at the same time on one leg to the other or most of the demands on one leg. So a lot of stuff we do is single leg. So we need to train. That's what we're gonna do today. Uh, you've got lateral lunges, then uh, one leg at RDLs, then 10 split squats. 10 reps, five each leg each time through, right? Lateral lunges, lots of ways to carry it. Uh, dumbbells, we can kind of hang them in the middle and kind of step out to the side. If they're awkward there, you can actually carry them up here too. Barbell will sit on the back. It's easier that way, right? There's videos for all of that. The kettlebell is goblet style, like it always is. It's just, just easier there, right? You could also hang it down here, kind of like the dumbbells, but it's, it's, you get a little more benefit if it's up here, right? It kind of depends on how heavy that kettlebell is relative to your ability to do that. Um, if you don't have weights, so uh, that's not a problem. You just don't have the weights. You just do the lateral lunges like we do every day in warm up. Now, some of you guys, for lots of different reasons, struggle with the actual lunge part, right? Um, so I put us a video to a lateral squat, which is exactly the same, except my feet always stay in that position. So I don't step back and forth. I keep my feet there and move side to side. And that takes a moving piece out of it. Um, and it decreases the degree of difficulty pretty significantly. So if you struggle with the lunge part, can't get low to the lunge, feel like you're gonna fall over or do fall over when you do them, stick with your squats and kind of move side to side. This is one, just like all the rest of them, where it's better to do full range of motion, right? then to load up the bar and do three quarter or half range of motion with 400 pounds in your back. Let's get full range of motion on this and get all the benefits out of it. Okay, good. The next piece, one leg RDL. Fun to watch people do. Sorry, I'm gonna miss you guys all stumbling around and looking like you had too much to drink, right? Make sure when we do these, the videos are up there, right? You hold the weight in front, right? So if it's a barbell, two-handed, just like this. If it's a dumbbell, you're using one dumbbell or one kettlebell, you hold it in one hand, opposite to your plank leg, plant leg. So if I plant my left leg, dumbbells in my right hand. Easy peasy, just like that, right? Make sure my hips stay square or as square as I can get them. If your hips are turning off like this all over the place, you're not going to get the benefit from it. We wanna hinge at the hip, let that back leg come up like we always do, right? Slight bend in the knee, hinge at the hip. If you struggle and you can't, even with body weight, you can't get full range of motion, that's okay. Cut this down to a range of motion and just like with everybody, who, even if you're doing full range of motion, cut it down to a range of motion and you can do in control. If you're going 100 miles an hour to get them done, not the purpose of this. If you have to cut your range of motion to slow it down and control it, cut your range of motion. If you go all the way down, that doesn't mean you can go 100 miles an hour anyway. Cut, slow it down and control the movement throughout. Last one is the split squat. You can, if you want to, do the rear foot elevated style. If you've got something to put your foot up on, super cool, that's fine. Um, otherwise, it's almost like a lunge, right? and your, your feet just don't move. So I don't step out. I step out once to get there, and then I squat from there. One of the big things to do, like with all of this, make sure my knee doesn't collapse. I want to see my knee to stay out. Posted a cool video of some dude from the UK doing it. Cool accent, right? And make sure we, we keep that shin as vertical as possible. Your, your knee's not gonna explode if it, if it comes a little bit forward towards your toe. That's okay. It's just A, you're stronger with that verticalized shin, and B, it gets a little bit more of the whole leg rather than just kind of smashing the quad and making the quad do all the work, right? 
So videos are up for that. Videos are up for your one-legged RDL with all the different options. But make sure that uh, whatever you do, all of this is done slow and controlled over that 12-minute period. Cool. The next piece we're going to have is TC. TC is your workout, right? TC is um, essentially the conditioning element today. So it's basically two-minute intervals. So you'll do a two-minute interval, then a two-minute interval, then you'll rest two minutes, and you'll do it all three times, okay? So we'll go through it, and then we'll talk about options and scaling and things like that. So the first two-minute interval, you're going to do 50 double-unders, and then max power clean and jerks. The second that ends, so start the clock, beep, two minutes, you run out the door, 200-meter run, max squats, right? After that two minutes, beep, we rest two minutes, reset the thing. So if you go to your SmartWad app or whatever app you're using, make, you can do it, like in SmartWad, I know. You can set EMOM, go to EMOM, set it for two minutes, right? And you'll need uh, one, two, six total rounds on that, right? So it should be easy. Um, so just kind of set that up so it works properly. And I'm lying to you. You will need eight total rounds on that, eight total rounds, because you, you rest the last minute, um, or last two minutes. So eight total rounds on your smart watch timer. All right, cool. So let's talk about, let's break these workouts down. Um, I'm gonna go over the, the subs for the double unders that are running at some point. At the end, we're gonna talk about, hey, here's what to do if you can't run or you can't jump rope at all, right? So bear with me. Once we get there, we'll talk about all of that because the subs for those two are exactly the same. So there's no need to go over the twice. 50 double unders needs to be about a minute long. If you can do double unders, but you're like, dude, if I do 50, it's gonna take me 10 minutes, scale your number back. 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever it is, right? If you can do them, do that, do something that takes you a minute or so, right? If you can't do double unders, you're doing singles. If you can do 50 singles in a minute, great. If you can't, scale the number back. If 50 singles take you 30 seconds, do 100, right? But try and scale to something that takes you about a minute long. So that leaves you time for your power cleaning jerks. The power cleaning jerks, the barbell, or, or dumbbells are easier way, dumbbell on the side. When it says jerk, you can push press this as well, right? So with the barbell, it might be easier as it gets heavier, as you get tired, to jerk it. Dumbbells, double especially, can be tricky to jerk. You're welcome to do it, but remember push press is a totally decent option. Um, if, uh, if you don't have any of those, it's kind of tricky with the kettlebell. You can do one arm kettlebell clean and jerks, those are, or snatches even. Um, those are kind of tricky. Uh, or you can do just a sumo deadlift high pull and ignore the overhead piece, and that's fine too. You'll just go up to here. Video is attached. Video is attached for all of this. If uh, you have dumbbells, but you're like, oh, these weights are too light. It's stupid for me to clean and jerk it. Okay. Do a double dumbbell snatch. So you go right to overhead, right? That will make the load feel much harder, and that is a relatively heavier weight to do, even if you have the same dumbbells to clean and jerk, right? Trust me on that. So if, you're, if your dumbbells, the only dumbbells you have are not challenging for a clean and jerk, do your double dumbbell snatch, and that should uh, fix that problem very quickly, right? Okay, uh, then moving on, 200 meter run in the second part. So beep, I run 200 meters, or something that takes me about a minute, right? If I'm much over a minute, cut the number back. Or if you're like, I don't know what 200 meters is, pick a mailbox you can run to 30 seconds out, 30 seconds back, you got a minute, right? Just keep that up. Squats or squats, so we're gonna do ideally front squats. Now, some of you guys may be kind of limited in with your, so ideally front squats with the barbell, I should say. You may be limited in the number amount of weight you have. If that weight is too heavy for you to front squat, but you can get it on your back, back squat it, right? If, it's, if you don't have, it's too heavy and you can't get it on your back, go ahead and front squat with an empty barbell, right? If you've got dumbbells, oh, we're gonna hold them right here. No problem, right? Um, if uh, you're using a kettlebell, it's goblet stop, right here, like we always do. If you don't have any equipment, air squats or air squats, you're just gonna do air squats, right? And just note, guys, when you record your score, what you actually did so that you have an idea of what it was, right? And so you can kind of compare yourself if you come back and do other things like this. Um, so again, let's go through kind of the whole function of the workout. So three, two, one, go, you'll do two minutes, 50 double unders, and then as many power cleaning jerks as you possibly can. Beep, two minutes, run 200 meters, and then as many squats as you can, then you'll rest two minutes, you'll do it all again, and then do it all again one more time. There's six individual scores on there, so you can record, all you're recording is how many reps, for the first one of power cleaning jerks, and then how many reps of squats you got for the second one. So you can record it for each round, so you can kind of get an idea. It will sum it up for you, all right? Easy enough. All right, last one, masters, right? 
is uh, it's an ab workout, ab finisher. So it's three rounds, 50 sit-ups, 25 uh, V-ups, and then one minute of attempted plank hold. Right? You'll rest two minutes, you'll do three rounds. So lots of rest today, but lots of work too. So 50 sit-ups needs to be something you can do in one, two sets, at least the first time. It may end up being three or four sets in the last one, but the first one needs to be one, two sets, right? If it's not, 40, 30, 20, whatever, right? Something you do in one to two sets. If you start off and you're like, I'm gonna do 50 even though it takes me four sets, I promise you, you'll be doing them in sets of two by the end, if you can even do them, right? The second one is 25 V-ups, videos are posted, but you've got the tuck with your hands behind you, the straight tuck, and then the V-up. Whichever of those options you choose, pick something you can do in control. A lot of times you see people who want to RX it, bro, and they're, they're just flopping around, throwing themselves at the V-up, right? If you can't do it slow, don't do it in this workout fast, right? So do something you can control. If you're gonna do a V-up, you should be able to control the actual V and come together in the middle, right? Do a proper V-up. If you can't, you'll get a lot more out of doing the tuck. I promise you will. Then you will flopping around trying to do a V up where you're still laying on the ground and you've basically brought your toes in the air. So do the one you can do in control. That's your best option. If you can do something in V ups in control, you, can't, you can do them without your hands as a tuck in control, but 25 is a whole lot and you can only do set three or four, that's fine. Feel free, cut that number in half if you want, right? Whatever it is. Now, the last piece is the plank. So we can do any kind of front plank, right? It's kind of up to your abilities, whether you're on your hands, you're on your knees or on your elbows rather, or you drop to your knees, whichever one it is. Pick something though, if you can do at least 30, 40 seconds of it, the first time, that's what you pick and that's what you stick with. So it's gonna get harder, right? So if I did it on my hands the first time and I got through 40 seconds, by second, third set, third set, I might not be able to do 40 seconds, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna drop to my elbows. If I was on my elbows, I'm not gonna drop down to my knees and make it easier. I'm just gonna maybe manage a little better. So by the second one or the third one, maybe I'm doing 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off, so I can get back and forth. That's the other thing is like, you may only have limited numbers, so don't, on the second or third one, if you're like, oh, 30 seconds is an all-out effort, stop before that, because 30 second all-out effort may mean you don't come back to it, whereas if you did 10 seconds on, rest for five seconds, 10 seconds, rest for five, you might be able to get 40 seconds in there, right? You just kinda kinda feel that out, all right? Um, and again, that is 50 sit-ups, 25 V-ups, one minute attempted plank hold, so hold as much of the minute as you can, rest two minutes, do that all three times. Do it all three times, right? All right, um, so we've all been doing pretty well. Seen some posts and some videos out there, which is super cool. Um, kind of shows everybody that we do not just sit at home and binge on Netflix series, but we binge on Netflix series and work out sometimes too. Um, and it also kind of breaks up the feed of all the same old posts that we keep seeing over and over, which is super cool. So if you post anything, remember either let Holly know so she can kind of post in the gym group or on the page so other people see it. Um, if it's just a story, tag the gym and it's very easy to reshare, so that's awesome. But yeah, good work guys. If you got questions, right, general questions, remember to ask them, right? If there's specific questions, uh, feel free to message me um, or text me directly and I'll kind of help work with you with that. I do have uh, dwindling amounts of equipment left, um, so if somebody does, is at home and doesn't have anything, please reach out and we'll see what we can do. Um, as soon as we can buy some more equipment, we'll buy a little bit more kind of help some of you guys out. Um, but right now there's nowhere to buy anything that you guys would ever be able to use, so. But we do have that fun package coming in the next couple days, so. Uh, all right guys, I will see you tomorrow for Saturday's